Thomas, Percy and the coal. Thomas the tank engine's blue paint sparkled in the sunshine as he puffed happily along his branch line with Annie and Clarabel. Blue is the only proper colour for an engine, he boasted to the other engines. Oh, I don't know. I like my brown paint, said Toby. I've always been green. I wouldn't want to be any other colour either, added Percy. Blue is the only colour for a really useful engine. Everybody knows that, spluttered Thomas. Percy said no more. He just grinned at Toby and winked. Each day, Percy brings a truck full of coal from the junction for the coal merchants at Farquhar. Next morning, Thomas was resting when Percy arrived. Be careful in this siding, Percy, warned Thomas, as Percy pushed the trucks along the line beside him. These buffers aren't very safe. They... He got no further. As one of the coal trucks passed Thomas, the catch on its door burst open. With a rumble and a crash, an avalanche of coal poured out and piled up around Thomas's wheels. A thick cloud of coal dust arose all around him. A tissue, spluttered Thomas. Help, I'm choking. Get me out. Percy looked worried. Then, as the dust settled, he looked at Thomas and began to laugh. Thomas's smart blue paint was black from smoke box to bunker. Ha ha ha, chuckled Percy. You don't look really useful now. You should see yourself. You look really disgraceful. I am not disgraceful, choked Thomas furiously. You did that on purpose, Percy. Now stop your stupid giggling and get me out. But it was some time before Percy could help. The coal bunker stood behind the buffers which Thomas had said were unsafe. It was only when the coal was shoveled into the bunker that Thomas could be moved. Poor Thomas was filthy. You're not fit to be seen, grumbled the cleaners. It took so long to clean Thomas that he wasn't ready in time for his next train, and Toby had to take Annie and Clarabel with Henrietta. The cleaners were tired and dirty when they had finished. Thomas was grumpy in the shed that night. Toby thought it was a great joke, but Percy was annoyed with Thomas for thinking that he'd made his paint black on purpose. Who'd have thought it, Percy remarked. Fancy a really useful blue engine like Thomas becoming a disgrace to the Fat Controller's Railway. You wait, Percy, replied Thomas crossly. One day you'll laugh on the other side of your smoke box. Pooh, rejoined Percy. I wouldn't have missed all that fun for anything. The feud worsened as time went on. Thomas thought Percy had coal-dusted him deliberately, and Percy was cross with Thomas for thinking so. Two days later, Thomas was at the platform when Percy brought his trucks from the junction. Percy arranged them and ran into a siding for a drink before Thomas's train left. The water column stood at the end of the siding with the faulty buffers. As Percy tried to stop, he heard a cracking sound, and to his horror, found that he couldn't. The buffers didn't stop him either. Oh, uh, wailed Percy. Help! The buffers broke, and Percy ran into the coal bunker with a thud. Coal flew everywhere, and when the dust had settled, Percy had disappeared beneath a thick black cloak. Thomas watched from the platform. As the crash died away, the signal arm dropped, and Thomas moved off, laughing as he went. Percy was furious, and he spent the rest of the day wondering how to pay Thomas out.